All right, now the next lesson, lesson two on limits, instead of uh, x going to a number like zero or one or negative one, x is going towards infinity. Now if we draw the graph of y equals one and x, we'll get a better idea of what's, what's happening here. You'll see that as x gets very, very large, um, the y value is going to get very, very small. So the limit that approaches is going to be equal to zero. And that'll be from, from both directions, from either going in the positive direction, positive infinity, or negative uh, infinity. Now, in the other case here, we can see that x cannot equal 2. All right, so if we draw the, the graph of this, we can see that there's an asymptote x equals 2. But it's, it's still the same. So in other words, as x becomes very, very large, here, yeah, goes on, you can see that the minus 2 will have no effect really because a, a very large number, take away 2, is still an extremely large number. So that will also, uh, as x gets very, very large, it will get closer and closer to 0. And again, this is both going to be 0. So it doesn't matter what number is in here, if it was, if it was a plus 2 or plus 3 or whatever, right? the limit will always be 0. All right, in the third example, this is a more complicated type uh, when you have a, a variable also in the numerator. Um, I haven't indicated which, what these values are, but we can quite easily work out what x is going to be. Here you can see x cannot be equal to, so we have an asymptote at x equals 2. We need to find out what this is. Now, there's a rather neat little trick here. All we do is this. Now, what I'm going to do now, I'll divide numerator and denominator by x. If I divide this by x and divide that by x, uh, I'm not affecting anything. I'm simply really multiplying by x on x, which is 1. So that is going to be x over x plus 2 over x all over x over x minus 2 over x. Now, this will, go, this will be equal to x and x is 1 plus 2 on x over 1 minus 2 on x. And of course, that as x goes to infinity, this will go to 0. This will go to 0, and the limit is going to be 1. Now, you don't have to draw the graph, but I think the graph helps to understand what's happening. So we can see here now the new asymptote is x equals 1. So as x uh, gets very, very large, uh, y approaches 1. Uh, and also, when x becomes very, very large in the negative direction, uh, y also approaches 1, the limit of 1. Now, just pause the video. Oh, one little, one little thing. Um, you can save us a bit of time here to, uh, by looking at the numerator here in the denominator. As, as we said before, the minus 2 won't have any effect when that's a very large number. So, in fact, what we could do is just cancel these out and, and see that the limit is simply 1 on 1 or 1. Okay, so you can just ignore these and just put 1. Okay, so have a go at the next one. Right, now what you should have had is the limit. I'm just going to do a little bit of rearranging here and write that as minus 2x plus 3 over 3x minus 4. You don't have to do that, but it just makes it a bit easier to see what's happening. And then that becomes, when we divide by, that becomes minus 2x on x plus 3 on x all over 3x on x minus 4 on x. And of course, uh, this is going to be equal to limit as x tends towards infinity. This just becomes minus 2. Minus 2 over, this will grow out to 0. This will grow out to 0. And that's over 3. And of course, the limit of a constant is going to be simply minus 2 on 3. And again, we could have actually saved ourselves all that bother by simply looking at it and say, well, the 3 won't affect anything, or the minus 4. So these could cancel out, and we just get minus 2 over 3 as our limit if we want to do it quickly. 
or even over this case, we just cross, cross these out, it's minus 2 over 3.